Yeah, yeah. Yeah, make sure that lift's in good shape. And that lift is very important. You know why that lift is important? Because it's gonna lift me in and out of the water. I never thought that I'd see the day where I'd have a limo van take me to a private jet to take me to go buy a yacht. Okay, I waited a long time, but I finally made it. Today, we're gonna travel by land, by air, and by sea. I need to have a cigarette. They won't let me smoke on a plane. That's because I shared a plane. If I owned the plane by myself, I'd smoke on it. But I don't want to insult my partner. It's only a 20 minute flight anyway. We're going 200 miles at 500 miles an hour. You do the math. So here we are. We put our offer in, they accepted our offer, and now we go through the due diligence period. We're going to take the boat, we're going to cruise over to this big boat yard tomorrow morning. They're going to take this big ass boat out the water. We're going to inspect the whole goddamn frame and hole in the boat. There's a guy that's going to go on the boat, he's going to check every goddamn thing there is to do. It's called a survey. Okay? It's just like buying real estate. DD, due diligence, do your homework, inspect everything. So we're gonna inspect this boat from head to toe and make sure everything's in chip shape. This is your room, Frank. Look at that. Yeah. Never been used. Brand new. Perfect. Perfect. Your own galley. Yeah, look at I love I love it. This room is off limits to everyone but me and my wife. The only thing she'll bitch about is uh, no bar. I mean, I've seen nothing like it. Even the boats that we rent doesn't compare to this. This boat looks like it was built for you. The Big Johnson for the Big Ben. Now it's Big Ben's Big Johnson. We just got the boat in. Tomorrow morning, they're gonna put it up in the air. Oh, we're getting ready to go look for a dinghy. I'm gonna have the dinghy take me to go find a dinghy. The dinghy's gonna go on this part right back here. And it goes down in the water by the press of a button. And then when you wanna go up, you bring it up out of the water. It's called the hydraulic swim platform. <laughs> look at that, 737 coming out of the hotel. Going to pull a big ass boat out of the water. Make sure it ain't got no cracks or leaks. I don't get up at 737 with nobody. But I will for the boat. Today, for the first time, we're gonna pull a 93 foot boat out the water, baby. That's what you gotta use to bring a boat out of water this size. Today, we're doing a survey, just like basically an inspection. We're inspecting everything on that boat, every inch of it, making sure every single thing works, taking it out of the water. 
We're gonna have a professional come aboard and check every single thing. We're gonna take it for a C trial. We're gonna see how that baby runs. We're gonna get that baby up there, the top speed, and we're gonna ride that mother, baby. We're gonna ride. So we're here. This guy's tapping away. They're gonna check the hall, make sure everything's fine. Those props need to be cleaned up and we need a protective coating put on them just like the shaft looks. That's the way the prop's supposed to look. We gotta make sure that lift's in good shape. And that lift is very important. You know why that lift is important? Because it's gonna lift me in and out of the water. Not only the dinghy. underneath they did an inspection I'm sure they found a couple of things need to be done and now we're gonna take it out for a ride and see how this puppy can run what's your name Chris Stanley who Chris Stanley Chris Stanley Chris Stanley is an SOB oh, man. son of a broker it's true and we all know what brokers are Chris what do you do you just run around with daddy and and play with boats all day and get paid big money and drive Mercedes and live in a life, right? Partially true, yes. Must be nice, must be Partially nice. Partially true. Because I haven't seen you do a damn thing since I met you. <laughs> you didn't even find me a dinghy. One step at a time, I can't sell you a dinghy for a Man, boat you, you don't have yet. slow. <laughs> I'm ready to buy it, I'm ready to buy it. I'm bringing a bunch of dinghies on board, but I, I need a dinghy to take the dinghies out. See how good this boat is it trying to sell me. But you gotta watch your brokers, let me tell you. It's slick. You think cars, car dealers are slick? You ain't seen nothing till you see a, bro, a boat broker. And if you want to buy a big fantasy boat, you call Chris at Gilman Yachts. Can they find you on the internet? Hmm. I'm talking about on boat sites, not those weird sites you're on. They can find me on both sites. Okay, Gilman Yachts, Fort Lauderdale. Look Chris up, and he needs a sale. Buy a boat, now. Thank but there's a minimum of $1 million. All right, Chris, thanks a lot. That's cool. Now I'm tugging to open it. wet with fluid and leaking because the hose below it is wet. Switches from a bronze valve to a stainless 90 to a bronze strainer. So you got a big chunk of dissimilar metal in there. So get something to keep an eye on. Find that and report that as well. So 
$5,100 for three guys to hang out on a yacht for one day? Yes, sir. I don't do it for the fun of it. You're going to go to school and become a survey. I got the $100. <laughs> $5,100 for the inspection. This boat shit's getting expensive. Told you, Ben. All right, so we had a very long day today. We pulled this big giant boat out of the water. We inspected the inside. We inspected the outside. We inspected, had them inspect everything. Every hook, crane, corner, line, screw, clamp, valve, engines. We found a couple of issues that need to be taken care of. The boat's under full warranty, so there shouldn't be any problem with them fixing that boat, so it's picture perfect. So we're gonna keep inspecting and keep fixing, and hopefully we'll close this deal. And before you know it, we'll be at it. All right, so here we are. We figured it out that the money they charge to park in a marina, you could buy a house and make a big mortgage payment. So why give away free money for a piece of water every month when you can buy a house? So Priscilla went out, got her real estate license, and now she's gonna show us houses that the boat can fit behind, which is a very difficult thing because there's all kinds of measurements and sizes and depth and width and length and setbacks and rules that we're learning about. If you have a boat and you wanna park it behind your house, there are setbacks, so space between you and your neighbor's property line. So if you have a boat in certain areas, you gotta have 10 feet from the rear of your boat and the front of your boat in between you and your neighbor. So we learned about setbacks, the width, the canal is this big. You got houses on this side, you got a waterway in the middle, and you got houses on that side. You each get a third. You get a third on that house, you get a third to run through the middle, and you get a third on your side. Okay, so whatever the distance of width of that canal is, you gotta split it up by a third and make sure you don't exceed. So if it's about 80 feet wide canal, you roughly get about 26 or seven. That's all the footage you get to stick out. You also have to worry about the depth. If your boat needs six feet of water, in, in low tide, you gotta find out how low the water is in low tide. Because you don't wanna be having your boat sitting in the goddamn mud, and you don't want the boat stuck there and you can't move at certain times. We're looking at a house because it pays to buy. Plus, Vincent and Priscilla can live in the house, and we can stop paying rent on the house they're in until we sell the hotel. That's the story. You get it? Good, come on in. Great. He just sold his boat, which is why he's selling the house. Great. So um, he did the same thing we're doing, probably. Basically, yes. Smart guy. So, so he's the guy that owns the house, had this house because he had a boat, and he let his crew stay in the house. There's my crew right here. <laughs> Perfect. Same situation. Nice flooring. It's been remodeled to, like, you know, Home Depot. Uh, a possible roof leak. So this is evidence of a possible roof leak, and Carla was able to notice that. Good room. This is called a Jack and Jill because you got Jack on one room and Jill on the other. So this is called a Jack and Jill bathroom that supports Jack and Jill. Unless you got two Jacks or two Jills. The roof is probably going to have to be replaced in about a couple of years. No, one year. When you're the buyer, it needs a roof now. The master, ooh, very nice. Look at this, you go out this door, it goes right to the pool, baby. Patio pool. You wanna hear the bad news now or later? Let, tell no, me the bad news. No. Sometimes I can turn bad news into good news. The city will not allow it to be on separate lot because it's, it doesn't reach the minimum square Yeah, I thought of that, I figured that already. But guest house. But, we can add on a guest house, a rental unit. They'll let you do that. Hopefully they'll let you do it where you don't have to attach it. It doesn't have to be attached. That's a great thing. Oh, how cute. It comes with a pet thing for you. Oh my God, there was dogs in here? I can't be in here anymore. You don't smell it. They must spray. Nice. Okay. Well. Hey, we need to make sure when he sells the house, 
Will he sell that ramp with it? That's gonna cost me a fortune to buy. Seriously, Ben? It's very quiet, they don't get bothered. Not a lot of crime. He knows it's a little seedy up north, but like I was saying, the neighbors, don't put this on there. Well, I wonder who gets to park their boat there illegally. That doesn't belong to anybody. Not belong to they, they don't even got a lift there, that's crazy. That's a, that's a 15 inch, $20 million boat right there. That's the boat we're gonna trade up to. That's a 15, $20 million. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, now you like dogs? I'm sure that dog lives on that boat. This is quiet here. You can see, we're gonna arrive in the neighborhood, but. Yeah, I got I was able to talk. Um, What's your name again? I'm sorry. Robert. Robert. Okay, yeah. folks, this is Robert. Robert is the listing agent on his house. It's Robert's job to get the owner as much money as possible. But it's also Robert's job to pick out and help the owner find the best person to buy the house. That's not gonna waste his time, not to make his life miserable. And how many, uh, this house just came on the market, right? Uh, it's been a few weeks. All right, great. So Robert's gonna help us get this house. You know why? Because it's perfect. We're pretty much buying this house for the boat slip. Look, you see the size of the boat back there? It's already set up for a big boat. It's got the power we need. It's got the size we need. It's got an extra lot next door. It's got three bedrooms. The place has been fairly remodeled in nice, decent enough condition. It's in a good neighborhood. It fits all our needs. Basically, we're buying this house for the dock. We don't know the price yet, but Robert's gonna help us out and he's gonna make a good deal with the owners happy and we're gonna be happy. So stay tuned and find out if Robert closes the deal with the help of Priscilla. <laughs> the house is listed for 1.1 millones dollars, but we'll see what's gonna happen. All right, we appreciate you showing us the house. Try it. I'm ready to today, baby. I'm ready to put the money up. I'm ready to sign on the dotted line, and I'm ready to do it today. And the sooner I do it, the sooner you guys get paid. All right, thank you. There's so much water around here. Even the streets are filled with water. Basically, what we're doing is we're looking at the house from across the canal to imagine what it would be like if we had bought this house and put the boat there. This is the way you do your homework. You try to see it from all angles. This is a whole new thing to me about this uh, by, uh, waterfront property. I, I know you. You know me? I know you. I know you. You don't know me, but I know you. Life for sale, right? I see you on YouTube every fucking day. Every day. Even on Sunday? How are you, sir? How about we do your fist? There you go. Hey, but do me a favor. Tell this young man to stop following me around. He's been following me around for 34 years. I see you on YouTube. No, how old are you? 28. Every fucking day look at you do. Oh, we appreciate it. Life, Thank you. Life for sale. Thank you very much. You mention and all that, right? Sometimes. Yeah. Till the bank takes it away. Yeah. You have a good day. You too, sir. Thank you. So the property starts where? At the, uh... Hey, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You work for the city of Fort Lauderdale? Oh, shit. Get your money out, Vincent. Come on. You're going to help us out, aren't you? All right. So here's the situation. We're looking for a place to park it. You got any, doesn't the city own some marinas? Yep. And don't you got action with the, the guy who runs the marina? Come on. I can get the guy who owns the marina. Can you, can you hook us up? Yep. If you call him and ask him, what are my options? A friend of yours, a relative of yours, your <laughs> uncle. Okay, because you're too young to be my brother. Mm -hmm. um, tell him your uncle's got a 93 foot boat and he uh -huh. needs somewhere to park it. I got you. All right, let's call him. Let me get the number one. Get right there. All right. Why does it smell like doo doo over here? You left your bike. Pays to know people. It's all in who you know. I like from that neighborhood we just left. He works for the city of Fort Lauderdale and he picks up the garbage. He's an important guy. That means everybody that runs these parks loves him because they keep the places clean. It's like we're giving you a, a deal. I'm going to change your name. 
to Vincent apples and oranges because you're always mixing apples with oranges. It doesn't match. How does that not match? I just think my jokes and my your jokes aren't that funny. It's too sophisticated, and you don't understand them, so you like criticize it. Yeah, I don't fucking. That's not funny because I don't fucking know what you're talking about. It's okay. I mean, I feel bad for you. You know that you're surrounded by idiots all day usually, and you're not used to. Are you calling having, Rafal an idiot? Are you calling Rafal an intellectual conversation a fool? with someone with intellectual jokes? Intellectual and, conversation about a guy who picks know? up garbage in the parks. Okay, here he is, you guys. And what's the guy's name? Lewis. Yeah. And you ain't gonna hook me up and call Lewis up and say, "Yo, I got a friend that needs a place. Can you fit a 93-foot boat in there?" No, I don't want you to get in trouble. You're not getting in trouble. Then. Lewis, what's up, man? I got a buddy over here uh, near the park a boat by a, 90, a 93. 93. A 93 footer. Uh, 93 footer, got it. Um, if he's trying to come here in October, we have no room. We only have a space that has no electricity and no water. You know, what's the, what's the, what's the best annual rate? You do annual rates? So uh, the ongoing rate uh, yearly, if you sign up for yearly agreement, is $1.61 per foot per day. 161 so, per day, so that's... Yeah, so monthly is about 4,633 plus utilities. Man, that's a lot of money. Can I get a discount, actually, a Florida it's discount? Actually cheap for, it's actually cheap for the area. Try by here tomorrow at $5 a foot. You know? All right, well, thank you very much. I'll come pay a visit. Thank you, sir. All right, so we can park with the city for four grand a month. We can buy a house. It's going to run us for a million dollar house. It's going to run us about... Uh, five grand a month with taxes and a mortgage and i want to appreciate i want to say thank you very much and i appreciate your help sir no problem you know seriously there was um one time i got in trouble you want to hear a quick story you got a minute okay. okay so i got in trouble i got in trouble blah 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 the judge gave me probation but i had to do community service and the community service i had to do was ride around just like this in a pickup truck with a guy like you and go around and keep up things clean in the neighborhood in Oakland, California. Mm -hmm. And the guy was so cool, because I was working still, I was hustling on the phone. The guy would let me, as long as I bought him lunch every day, and I bought him a really good lunch. Oh, really all I had to do was sit in the phone, he let me charge my phone up, and I worked all day in his truck, mm -hmm. while he went around and cleaned up, and all I had to do was buy a really good lunch, he's the greatest guy in the world, I'll never forget that guy. I had to do it for like a month. <clears throat> he saved my butt. Carl, nice to meet you. And keep watching. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, I watch you all the time. All right, man. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks. Nice meeting you. Take care. Oh, yeah. Do me a favor. Yes, sir. Stop smoking. It's bad for you. After I find a place for the boat. All right. Very good. Let's go. I guess we got nothing else to look at. Let's go to the boat. Hello. This is Consult with Ben. How can I help you? You want to give somebody a good Christmas present? Go to benmala.com and buy them a phone call with Ben Mala. You can't get a better Christmas present than that, okay? Sign up right now and buy your consult with Ben Mala and send that to somebody for Christmas. I'll give them just what they need. As captain of this vessel, I'd like to christen it with the owner here. We would like to ask the gods of the sea, including King Neptune, will oversee this vessel for safe journeys across the oceans to the Bahamas to great restaurants and bars. We'd like to christen this vessel as it safely sails across the deep oceans as life for sale. Yeah. Yeah.